You asking me? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just saw her now. I thought you were going to answer. Okay. My name is Amirani Pereira. I'm Akash Parantana. I'm Hussein Jaisi. I'm always inspired by the dragon, the Sri Lankan dragon, Makara Thorana. So everything was um, done with embroidery and a uh, lot of dyeing techniques and uh, peer, like a lot of uh, fabric manipulation techniques with uh, textures. I played around with textures a lot. The first collection is showcasing this actually. It's going to be about how a person uh, changes because of the society, how a person becomes someone the society wants and not their true selves. Right. So. What about you? Uh, my question is about a uh, child abuse case. Mm -hmm. uh, and made um, sensitive and emotional mm -hmm. to my uh, costumes mm -hmm. that I use uh, as inspiration, child mm -hmm. arts and uh, embroidery techniques mm -hmm. and local batik crafting. It's really good that you're using this uh, platform this limelight to um, for a cause and it, which is very needed. These kind of issues in the society doesn't have any social or economical barrier. <laughs> the host. <laughs> so tell me about your challenges. For me, the most challenging part was uh, creating my brand philosophy and identity. Right. Because we are dealing with Sri Lankan peoples mostly, yes. so we should analyze how people react for this, yes. how people are dealing with this. Right. Yes. Like I said, be passionate and don't um, give up on things pretty easily. It's very hard to build your own business. Passion is a business at the end of the day. I was very lucky because as soon as I showcased at Kalam Fashion Week, I got a buyer through CMW. I launched at 2013. In 2014, I remember uh, around um, five places stitched my garments. Have you um, heard of a designer called uh, Martin Mangella? He, he's a Belgian designer. I really like his ideology behind the brand and him as a person as well who's very introvert and but at the same time he's he's very loud in terms of his designs. My design is uh, Sambhya Shashi Mukherjee, right. an Indian fashion designer. Yes. I love the way he composed uh, patterns and designs and silhouettes and special color palettes. Right. Yes. Like tradition and we all trying to combine tradition uh, Indian traditional things and uh, western things yes. I love yes. yeah and I love his collaborations with other brands yeah question sir I think as college students we just bring out our art and we are trying to make it make our design we have the design in our head so when you come to CFW and like you try to show us there's a certain level of neatness there's a certain level of like a mark, you, your garment should be marketable. So there's a gap between the design and the finishing. So that gap is very important, and I learned that through the future that you said, you are just starting. But most beauty designers, what happens is that they take back this collection and it's just lying in their houses most of the time. So you're very lucky that you have a retail link and you can be there, talk to people and see what the clients want and see what the customers' needs are as well. <laughs> 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 see, that was nice. Yay! Yeah.